My name is Cynthia Dowsland. I'm a senior biology major, and I'm currently doing research with Dr. Pritz, who is a biology professor. Um, we're studying the physiological effects of soy milk, on, um, specifically on rats. We're looking at the effects of soy on their learning and memory abilities. We settled on soy milk because they had, there were a lot of articles about both soy having positive effects and negative effects. Mm -hmm. For instance, there were a lot of claims that soy would like cure cancer, it would uh, you know, improve memory, but there were also some articles that said that soy increased the possibility of like mammary tumors, you know, it had all sorts of terrible effects, it would you know, decrease testosterone levels. So we really wanted to look at soy milk specifically because there weren't a lot of research done on that. So I already knew Dr. Pritz beforehand because she's the chair of the Health Professions Advisory Committee here and I knew that I was going to be applying to graduate school so I had already started talking to her. I just right, went right up to her office and I said, hi Dr. Pritz, my name is Cynthia, I'm interested in doing research with you. And she said, okay. So we met um, I think three times a week last semester every single week and like if I didn't understand something she was more than willing to explain it to me. She was more than willing to kind of like lead me along into finding different things that I thought were interesting if I wanted to explore something more. So I think doing independent research as an undergraduate is a great experience. It kind of feels like a capstone project for me because it's incorporating everything that I've ever learned in every biology class, every chemistry class. Um, it's kind of all being synthesized into like one big project. It's giving me great experience learning how to write a proposal, how to actually carry out the research, all the different kinds of tests and everything. So last fall I began applying to dental schools and I applied to University of Buffalo, Harvard University, and University of Connecticut. Um, at my interviews for all three schools I was asked about the research that I had done here at Lemoyne and they were really very impressed that at such a small liberal arts institution that I was having this wonderful science undergraduate research experience. Um, I was interviewing with people who were at Princeton and Columbia and they had nowhere near the same level of kind of experience that I had and it was great coming from such a small school, you know, here I am from Lemoyne and they were very impressed with that.